What's going on? This is Alex from DJ Cut Entertainment and today we're at Persimmons Golf Course. Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the ceremony setup that we got going on. We have uh, two lapel mics that we're using today, one for the minister and one for the groom. It all connects from the iPad to our mixer over there. So we're able to stand anywhere in the room and be able to test everything. So right now we're gonna EQ the uh, minister's microphone check check one two one two check 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 one two one two check one two one two check check one two one two one two check one two so most people use an analog mixer where we're using a digital mixer so we're able to get rid of those frequencies so the microphones are not screeching through the speaker so i'll show you here i'll, I'll purposely make it sound not good check 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 one two one two. So what we can do is we can bring those frequencies that are causing that pinging sound, that ringing, because we have a digital mixer with an analog mixer like most people use, you're not gonna be able to do that. A lot more expensive because you gotta get an iPad, you gotta get a better mixer, but when it comes to ceremonies, we want that, you know, that special moment to not have any problems. And so that's why we use a di digital mixer with this setup. All right, so at this time, we're gonna go mic up the minister and the groom, we usually mic them up right beforehand. We'll keep all their audio down and then we'll bring it up when they're ready to speak. So let's go find them and we'll mic them up and then we'll find out how we're gonna, you know, usher everybody in, who's coming in to what song and all that stuff. So let's go do that now. Let me go here. Uh, do you have a belt or no? Okay, so how would you like to run this? You want it just up above? Yeah, that's what you're going to have to do. Okay, not a problem. Give me one. So, are you walking up with the wedding party? First in. Just y'all, you're you're gonna walk. Okay. Do you need to say something when you first get up there? Okay. So you don't need to say anything until everybody's up there. Okay. Cool. So I will have the volume all the way down until you're ready to speak. So what we're gonna do is I won't play their exit song until I see them actually take a footstep. So I don't know if you're gonna say their last name or pronounce them. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I have you unbutton that real quick? Nope, you're good, you're good. We can go. Do you have to grab anything out of here? No. There's, oh, there's only um, the right arm. All right, so I'm going to mic you up. Don't say anything inappropriate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be off until you guys need to speak. Ling Xiao and Emily would like to thank their parents and family for all the love and care they received growing up and to thank all of you who are here to share in their joy. These are the hands that will hold your hands for a lifetime, the hands that will be at the end of every embrace. They're the hands of your very best friend, the hands that feel like none other. Setting up for the grand entrance right now. Wedding starts here in about an hour. And so we have our cold spark machines that are gonna be on each side. They're going to do our grand entrance through one of these doors. And so I'm going to show you how to set these up and what kind of cool effect this can add to your wedding. It takes about uh, 15 minutes to heat up. Then we'll go ahead and do a test fire without anybody in here. Really cool effect. And people are going to be cheering and screaming because these are a pretty new feature. They're kind of the hot new wedding trend this year. And a lot of people haven't seen them. So it's a really good surprise. All right, so we're gonna have them do the grand entrance through the doors. They're gonna come in the middle. They're gonna stop right in the middle. They're either gonna do a dip or a kiss and you're gonna have everybody screaming. Once that happens, then we're gonna fire these up like this. And that's how we're gonna do the grand entrance. So depending on the layout, we'll put the cold sparks either facing the crowd or the way that they're gonna be walking for the grand entrance. 
And one of the things that I really focus on is all my weddings, they need to have good lighting, whether it's indoors, outdoors, depending on the time that your wedding is gonna end, uh, we'll determine what kind of lighting package. So for this particular room, we're gonna do 10 up lights around the room, and then we're also gonna do two spotlights on the dance floor. Functionally, this is gonna look amazing. It's gonna help your pictures look better or your video look better. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one master light. We are gonna have it be on a static color. You get to pick what color you want. So this particular client wants a color purple. And so this is how we're gonna light up the room uh, before dancing. And then when dancing goes, we're gonna set it to sound activated. So you can see as the sound hits, it changes colors and all the lights are gonna do the exact same thing. And it's just magical when it comes to the room and what it can do because right now we just have some white walls and all the walls are going to glow the color of these up lights so it's like our number one request for weddings and it just is a quick way to transform your room you can see it just makes a huge difference and then later on this is what it's going to be like when we go to like a sound or a show mode so and it's a really cool effect and you're gonna have the whole entire room change the color with the up lights, and it's just a great effect to have. So what we have here is our spotlight package. So depending on, like I said, your guys' setup, if we're doing a backyard wedding, it's pretty much, if we're going past 9.30 and sunset, we're gonna add these to the package. It's a safety thing, and it also makes everything look 100 times better, especially in photos, you'll see the difference. All right, so what I'm gonna cover is sound design for a room like this. You notice that we have the dance floor and the head table that's gonna be over here. And then we have all the guests that are over there. These speakers are meant for the dance floor. The pickup pattern is gonna be generally in this area. I could turn one speaker kind of that way, but people wouldn't really be able to hear. So we're going two speakers here for the dance floor. If we go over here, you'll see that we have a speaker for this area. So that way we can keep the volume really low and then we can get sound in this general area. So then we'll take this speaker and we'll probably angle it over this direction. So that way we can keep those speakers pretty low and hit this area. Over here, out on the patio, so once the ceremony is done, everybody's gonna have drinks and gather out here. We have a speaker stand that's staged over here, so we'll use our ceremony speaker, hook that up, so when everybody's gonna be outside, they can hear us on the microphone and they can hear uh, the music that's gonna be out here. So if the photographer comes like, hey, we need to have you know this part of the family uh, meet us over here, they'll be able to hear us. If we just had those two speakers over there, it wouldn't be possible and it wouldn't sound good. We'd have to bring the volume really high and it's just an uncomfortable sound. And so depending on the room design, we'll have a different speaker package for you guys.